Welcome back to My Two Cents. It's your boy Magic, and we're back at it again with some more freaking... It's not breaking news, it's, it's already a, a little past. It's a little stale, tiny bit, very tiny, very tiny bit. Still tasty, very, very tasty. Because guess what? Obama's trying to solidify his place in the White House still. He always has, apparently. Because you know what? He just, he just treated like treated our president, <laughs> our 2022 president, Biden, like a rag doll over the uh, past couple weeks whenever Obama visited the White House for the 12th anniversary of the Obamacare. I meant the, you know, uh, the American Care Act, the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> Who remembers when that came out? Oh, you damn straight, I remember. I remember I remember those times being some of the hardest times in my generation. I remember at the same time I lost my house and my job in the same dang year. The place went into a huge recession. 2008, 2009, 2010 comes. And here comes Obama giving away health insurance. I remember I uh, 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 destroyed my wrist back in 2005 over with the accident and I tore all my ligaments and all my uh, 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 nerves and arteries in my hand or I almost bled to death. I cut everything all to pieces, man. And dude, the, going through the freaking uh, 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 medical field, the healthcare system was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I was making like 12 bucks an hour. And yet they, uh, they made it so easy and painless to go through uh, uh, the surgeries and all the doctor's visits and everything. Oh my God, they had me on cloud nine. Now tell me why. Just last year, I fractured my right wrist. And this is just an example. And this is a very uh, 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 modern example. It's not 10 years old or examples no this is last year they had me going back and forth I was laid off for one thing I laid off yet I was still paying for my health insurance five hundred dollars a month with my unemployment so pretty much a third of my unemployment was gone all right half yeah it is a lot a lot of money to pay uh, on a month for health insurance just to keep on going to just for the doctors to keep on telling me to come back and forth back and forth back and forth for six months we're at the end of it nowadays you gotta wait 24 hours right before the surgery for this lady from the doctor to from the hospital to call you and say um we got you got you owe us eight thousand dollars in, within the next 24 hours or sometimes the next I think it was like 10 hours it was literally the day the the, the morning before what well, they're telling me the day before which is like 5 p.m. and my surgery is uh, they, uh, my surgery is supposed to be at 5 a.m. the next morning yeah, it's like 12 hours notice saying I got charge I got paid them eighty four hundred dollars what the fuck what the hell kind of system is that? You know why they're doing that, right? Because the Affordable Care Act. They stretched the, the they stretched the shit out of the medical field. The doctors and everyone's just having to freaking give all these people all this uh uh uh, uh care, medical care, that is diluting the water, aka the medical field. I was diluting it so everyone could get drink. But unfortunately, the hardworking American citizens are the ones that are paying for it. Not the illegal immigrants, not the people that don't want a job and just want to get live off of the government and us, like leeches. We're the ones that are paying for that. We pay for it and then we get double whammied at the end. Just like damn taxes. 
paying taxes all damn year long. Then at the end of the year, you got to pay more taxes. Especially if you ain't got no kids. When you can't have kids. Now, if you, uh, uh, sometimes it's not even a choice. But yeah, we're having to pay for it because of that. We're paying for it, the uh, others to be happy. Yeah, we're struggling. We can't even get our own medical need, uh, uh, needs taken care of. I never got my surgery because of this crap, trash medical field. Trash, 100% trash. It is not worth buying insurance anymore. And that's guaranteed. I, I should have just saved them 500 fucking dollars every month. Saved up. And I could have just paid for my own damn surgery. And I bet you anything. And what they do, they don't tell you this. That there's a cash option where it's a discount. Because it's cash. And it's not going through the insurance. See, they, the market is, uh, you're going through the insurance, guess what? They're, 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 they're hiking all the rates up on everything on purpose. But if you pay cash, it's a huge discount. Huge. Huge. You just don't know it yet because everyone's just trying to tell you, oh, the insurance field, yes, here we all got to get insurance. You got to make sure you have to have your insurance. Don't forget your insurance. When you get a job, pay for the best insurance you can. Bullshit. I had the best insurance or could that they freaking even have nowadays. Six months into it, going back and forth, and then they uh, asked me to pay $8,500. Within 12 hours? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But yet, we're all applauding Obama for this. A.K.A. Uh, uh, the uh, Affordable Care Act. A.K.A. Obamacare. You're going to slap his name right on it. Hmm. Sounds like something, uh, someone, don't it? <coughs> Ooh. That's crazy, man. The worst thing that ever happened to the medical field. Yeah, he's coming back to uh, the White House for the 12th anniversary of the Affordable Care Act. Yay. Freaking wow. To, to announce more. More of it. Yay. Yes. Yes. Soak it up. We're not benefiting from that. The people that don't have insurance and don't care benefit from that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's disgusting. If y'all don't know what that is, you know, y'all, yeah. I don't know what rock y'all been living under, but man, it is horrible. I had also wanted to talk about how uh, um, Obama just made our president look like nothing, man. It was pretty despicable. It was, it was pretty disgusting. It was really disgusting how how an ex-president is going to act toward a current president. The cockiness, all right? But the disrespect? Come on. Mm -mm -mm. That's not the way to roll. All over the news, you can see how uh, Biden was, oh, it's, man, he was in the background trying to talk to Obama. Obama going to town with the people. He's having fun and everything, man. God damn old grandpa holding on to his shoulder, hoping he don't fall over. <coughs> Biden. Jesus Christ. What the hell kind of shit is this, man? I can't believe he's still in office, man. He can't even complete a goddamn conversation. Oh, 2022 is looking freaking bright, ain't it? <laughs> Woo! Holy crap! This is crazy, unfreaking believable, man. Obama's the next Nancy Pelosi. Hell, I wouldn't mind. I would. I, I would not doubt if he ever took her place in the Senate. Oh, I mean the Capitol. 
<laughs> Star Wars joke right there. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Palpatine. <laughs> oh god. Man, this is so crazy, huh? This is wild. This, this is what we're living in. Well, we got rid of a freaking, uh, 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 what do you call it? A businessman on his toes, making sure he's the leader of the free world or one of the top leaders, aka also our president for this, this diminished senile old man that has way past his prime. Uh, man, he should have been president where Obama was. Hell, Obama should have been president now. But no, 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 no. All the rappers and all everyone in the world and all the celebrities are put in their two cents. Got all their freaking followers. And man, it was crazy back then whenever Obama was getting uh, 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 voted in. But I thought it was a little bit too soon. He should have been voted in this time. See, Biden should have got voted in the uh, back then, whereas he would have been coherent. And he'd have a grasp of reality. Because nowadays, man, he's out of there, dude. Oh, it's sad to see, man. It's sad to see a guy diminished like that. Oh, man. That's the world we're living in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What y'all think about what I got to say? <laughs> this is wild. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with this. You know how I was saying uh, uh, Obama was putting his uh, showing uh, showing off his clout in the uh, in the White House, right? Sure enough, yesterday he sends a tweet out because it is Easter, Easter Sunday. By the way, Happy Monday! Yay! Well, he went on Twitter and uh, sent out a picture wishing everyone Happy uh, Easter. You know, have a Happy Easter and everything. Of him and his family in the White House. Hmm. Man, he's he he loving that feel. He he loves the he loves the feel of that suit back on. Fits like a charm, right? Man. I wonder what's gonna happen after this. I can see some stuff being pushed. People are gonna force him back into uh office. Can't be a uh, president, you can only do two terms. Never know. Change uh, things might just happen. Change is inevitable, but in which way? Time will tell, and uh, I'm a little scared, I'm a little worried. <laughs> we still got some time with uh, with Biden. Woohoo! His backup ain't uh, he ain't nothing. She ain't no better. God damn. It's amazing what this world's come, uh, what this, uh, uh, what America's come down to. Man. Everybody tripping, man. Everyone want to listen to social media and to their entertainers. These are, these are actors and rappers. They don't know anything about politics. You think these guys know anything about politics? No, they just know what they want you to know. They want you to follow what they do. And if their idea, if your your idea ain't coinciding with theirs, you're the enemy. Plain and simple. We're the ones that's what's wrong with this freaking world, apparently. Nah. Why you think it's been looking like trash past freaking 15 years? Now hell, whenever Trump was uh, uh, on board, at least I was able to laugh. He's a funny little fucker. Now, I appreciate that, cause he's a hard ass too. And I like that. I really like that. I ain't gonna for, uh, forget the time I seen him visiting Putin. Man, he gave he gave man Putin get over here. Shook his hand. You come to me. I was like, damn Trump, <laughs> like that. Damn man, Trump was freaking tall as shit too, man. Grabs Putin and pulls him over here to pulls him toward. Him. <laughs> to shake my yeah, you better shake my hand, dude. I'm the boss. <laughs> Freaking Biden goes in there shaking Putin's hand, man. Oh, pathetic, horrible. Damn. 
That's why. That's why Putin got uh, 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 gone ahead and went on to uh, take over Ukraine. Because we ain't got the. He knew America ain't got the balls to do uh, do anything about it right now. See, he wouldn't have done that whenever Trump was on board. Trump is unpredictable. He'll smile in your face as he's throwing freaking uh, uh, rockets right behind your head. I like that, man. You gotta have some fear in this world. Cause man, if not, man, the world will will eat you alive. Just like it's eating Biden alive right now, man. And seeing him slowly being diminished into nothing. By the time his terms are over, he's gonna have a stroke. Or he's going to be just out of his mind. It takes a tough man to, uh, to run this country. Not just a pretty face. Not just a, 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 a face on the, on, on the Wheaties box. It takes a strong mental willpower. Yes, Biden, Obama had that. He still has that. He should have been president this time. I just felt like it was a little bit too soon for him. But now, apparently, he's going to have a new role in the White House. We may not know it, but it's there. I see it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all for listening. Hit me up on all my social medias. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. You name it. I got it. Like all good things got to come to an end. Hit me up. Uh, uh, support me on my channel. Buy me a cup of coffee. I love that. <laughs> I love my caffeine, guys. Yes, this is my Marvel superhero cup. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. It's been pretty long. This is one of my longest ones. Long as a, a podcast. Thanks for uh, dropping by. I'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Peace.